the next part I'm going to design is the nut. You can see that we have a hexagon at 0.35 inches with a hole of 0.26 inches in a diameter and it is 0.2 inches tall and then we have a 30 thousandths chamfer as well. So I'm um, going to Inventor, go File New, Standard IPT, Create. The way that I'm going to do this is first draw a hexagon on the XY plane using polygon. If you don't see polygon, just go to the drop down and select it here and make a hexagon. I'm always very careful to make sure that the one of the vertices of the polygon align with one of the axes. Here it's with the X axis. Then I'm going to dimension from one flat to another flat so I click once and then I click the other flat and then go out and it is 0.35 inches and we can make the circle as well um, at 0.26 inches the, the circular hole and then we're going to extrude this I'm going to do a symmetric extrude at 0.2 inches so what we need to do now is the chamfer I showed this in a previous video when we did the bolt, um, but basically we're going to create a sketch on a plane that goes through the vertices. So I'm going to go start sketch, and that is not the right plane. Um, that plane does go through the vertices, and I like to highlight it as well. And so I should be able to click right click and go visibility. And then I can hit F7 to give a cutaway view of the nut. And then I'm going to project geometry and just project that. Then I'm going to create a line to make a little triangle, which will be our chamfer. Being careful that the line ends on the projected geometry part. And the next thing that I'm going to do is dimension from here to here at 0.3 inches. Oh, that's a mistake, 0 0.03 inches. And then from here to here at 0 0.03 inches. Then I'm going to right click and go finish sketch. And then what I want to do is use the Revolve tool, select the little triangle, and then the axis. I can then choose the Z axis and then do a cut and go OK. And that gives us the nice little chamfer that we're looking for, but now we need it on the other side. But due to the symmetry of the piece, we can just use the mirror. And so I'm just going to go mirror. The feature that I want to mirror is this revolution. The plane that I want to mirror it about is the middle of the nut, which is the XY plane, thanks to the symmetric extrude. And then I can just go OK. I can hide the XZ plane here by right clicking and going visibility. And we get the nut. You can add threads you'd like. Um, additionally, we can change the material and save 